Welcome, welcome to another edition of Soul Sing Show with Bad Show. Sorry. Uh, I am your host, uh, Soul Sing Mirak, and with us this evening, we have Crane. Hi. Um, uh, when we last left Crane, he had uh, separated from the other aspects to uh, go on a redemption quest to regain his mantle as the aspect of protection. Uh, and he located three wormling eggs, um, a one of uh, brass, one of silver, and one of gold. Um, and he had constructed a shelter, did some fishing, and uh, had a peaceful night of rest. Um, in the morning, however, uh, by Lakeside, um, uh, Crichton realizes that one of the um, one of the wormlings is not in the shelter with them. Is uh, gone off to do something. Um, I go mm -hmm. find him. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll me a. Uh, we'll call it an investigation check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong character before I. <laughs> Who joined this chat? No. Oh, Luna. Luna is just peeking. He's lurking. It's okay. Um. So. Um. Uh, the um but it's 11 good sir 11 all right so with an 11 investigation um you are able to very clearly see um like the paw prints in the mud um and following the trail you see that the um the Roman has traveled downstream um, south of, of the uh, shelter and is uh, by the water. Um, it, the, the brass dragon is, is currently swimming. Um, he, uh, he looks like he's hunting for fish, if that makes sense. Um, like he, he's just in the, like you see bubbles come up under come from under the water and you know it's not a major concern because you do know that uh, brass that we can dragons, swim right brass dragons in particular are pretty solid fish swimmers and actually prefer the water um, in a lot of situations um, so um, did you bring the other two with you or did you leave them in the in the, the tent? Well, it, it depends. Do I ha have the uh, guards found me? Uh, not or no, not of. yet. Yeah, not not that I'm aware of. All right, then yes, I would have. So, um, the brass dragon is swimming in the water, um, comes back up with a fish in its mouth and and uh, swims back to shore, that kind of paddles back to shore. Um, and um, begins eating the fish. And just, uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Uh, 
Oh, do you want that with the vanish or, or just a straight? Um, just straight. Okay. What is me rolling low, low numbers? That's a 10. Uh, okay, so with a 10, um, you feel a presence behind you, but uh, you don't you don't notice anything when you, when you turn around. Um, and um, as uh, as you you know. As you're going about your your, your morning, your stomach starts to growl, and, and you, you feel like it's uh, like like you, you need to eat something. So, um, how are you handling that this morning? Yeah. I thought I caught six more fish. Yeah. Yes. So, are you going to grill them or eat them raw? Go grill one. <laughs> okay. I also built a campfire. Right. So, um, you grill up some fish, and, uh, I mean, everything's going okay. And then you hear the sound of, uh, it's, it's probably about 30 minutes past or so, um, the, the, the baby dragons have, you know, uh, Shared in the family breakfast with you, um, and you hear the rustling of armor um, in probably it sounds like three or four um, individuals. Marching towards you, um, uh, what do you do? You've got probably like four or five rounds before they get to you. Uh, I put the baby dragon, the wormlings, in the um, shelter. And I kind of go uh, somewhere where they can't find the shell where I hid them and kind of just go somewhere else and kind of just set up like an ambush if I can. Okay, so you're going to go somewhere to hide. Um... Not hide per se, but um, set up a... Uh, you know how like... Uh, um, Set up a decoy drill? Yeah. Okay. Um, give me a survival check. Survival? Sure. What is my survival? <laughs> I should know this. Oh, it's an eight. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. 17. Good deal. Um, da, da, da. And I would like to see a map, please. <laughs> of where I'm at. If you have one. Um, we are... If you can see... Um, the, oh, we're there. Oh. Oh, God. So you're, you're right around this area. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. This, this boulder here is where you found the, the dragonlings. So um, 
there's a, a clearing um, about 200 feet north of your location, and it's a pretty dense forest south of you. Um, and uh, the water is to your west, and to your back is just a whole bunch of trees. Um, so the you hear the um, the marching coming from where from over here. Um, so over here is where I heard. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Da, 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 that. Um. So you're you're gonna. It, it would probably be uh, best for you to hide in this underbrush here. Um, uh, you. Yeah, to set your your ambush in the trees in that area. Um, yeah, that's what I'm, you want to do. <laughs> Interesting. Um... <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Um, two seconds. No, we're good. We're fine. Uh, I'll roll initiative too. Go for it. Was this is how this is gonna go. <laughs> More tools. And if we don't get to combat today, I am gonna call Mojo. That's if we don't. That is a 29 good surfer. Okay. So, um, The trail that you set up to throw them off um, does, in fact, bring them in your direction away from the world of wormlings. Um, oh. <laughs> you are able to see. Um, well, are you? Are you trying to avoid detection, or do you legitimately want them to find you? I'm trying to see what they are first okay. before I. So then I'll need a stealth check from you as well. Oh, does my armor pose disadvantage or no? No, no, it does not. Okay. What the fuck is my? Make me roll stuff I haven't rolled before. You're doing things that you haven't done before. Exactly. It's a seven. Holy fuck. Twenty three. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that right now is my plus one sword. No. Oh, 
So, you said you got 23? For self, yes. Okay. So, um, while you are hiding very effectively, um, are you able to see five kobolds um, walking through the area um, and they're being led by a half dragon um, they appear to be searching for for something um, and one of them thinks they spot you uh, but they don't immediately speak up. Um, it, it's one of the, one of the kobolds. Um, he's smaller than the the other four, um, and he's wearing lighter armor. Um, so you get the sense that it's a, he's a scout. Um, he, uh, Valo mastery. Can I get all their health and armor? <laughs> If I've been there for three minutes, I'm assuming I have been there for like three minutes, right? As they are passing by you, uh, you do get uh, like they they are searching meticulously enough that uh, you're you're able to see that um, they have around forty five uh, forty five to fifty hit points. Um, their AC is uh, 14, 17. Um, the half dragon has a DC of 19. Um, or I have an AC of 19. Um, and uh, what was the other information you uh, It's AC and hit, uh, hit points, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, um, the half dragon has about eighty hit points. Um, <laughs> oh, the crap! So, um, the one that spots you is kind of staring in your direction. Um, what do you choose to do in this moment? We'd like to get in contact with Mojo. Um, you can call out for him, uh, or you know, send him a, a message through the the uh, the swarm that you have. Um, but he and, won't respond. Yeah, an immediate response is like a response. Would be that would be Friday, right? Right. Um, Fuck. So, um, I want to cause as much distraction as I can. Okay. Keep them away from my uh, home. Mm -hmm. And I just want to do that until Friday I get a response from Mojo. It will probably be after. I know we do Cole, if that makes. So, um, gives me, uh, Survivor. Um, like you're trying to like distract them and use the opportunity to move I and mean, I would need uh, um, a you have deception, yes? Yeah, but I'll do that. Okay, give me deception and then follow it follow that with a survival check. So I'm trying to do everything, anything right now to avoid this combat. <laughs> uh, 22 until I get more people, if that makes
uh, survivor, survi survival also. Yes. Okay. Twenty. And if I do have to go do combat, uh, my initiative is a 29. <laughs> It's better to fight this violence than fight alone. Right now. <laughs> okay. So. Um, you attempt to distract them. Does draw the attention of most of the uh, most of the group, but the one that saw you initially um, doesn't break his his like he doesn't lose track of you. Um, Fuck. And again, so combat it is. <laughs> again, he's he's uh he's still really hesitant to attack. Uh, rather than say anything, because the um, the half dragon leading them um, is is commanding that they go in a different direction, but you do get the sense that um, he still knows where you are. Like you're 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 leading them off, but this one scout appears to just be like he has a beat on you, and he's not letting go. So what I'm hearing is, is all of them got distracted to set for that dude. Yeah. Is there a way I can take, get him to come closer to me and take him down without the rest knowing? Or is that going to be impossible? I mean, you can give me a, uh, a stealth check and see how close you get. Cause I want this dude. If you can give me a twenty, I'll allow you to shoot. Nope, that. that's a twelve. Okay. Um. So what right. methods are you attempting to get his attention with? Uh, just a so uh, bird call. Or you, like, what a bird, bird call. call. So, um, go to call, it's a, it's kind of, it's kind of a, a weak call, like it's not like super great, um, but he's small enough that his attention being pulled in your direction is not super noticeable, um, I want to strangle him. <laughs> okay. Um, Athletics. Yes. And, and also a stealth check. An additional stealth check. Because getting his attention is one thing. Grabbing him while you're in, but like in, in your armor um, and uh, holding him long enough to, to choke life out of him. That's gonna require consistent checks. Like you're gonna have to move uh, in such a way that you know. Thirty-one. And then stealth is a ten. Okay. Um, 
And if I have to do it quicker, then I pull up. If I still have my dagger on me, I pull out my dagger. Okay. So, um, you manage to grab him pretty securely, um, and pull him into some bushes, but he is flailing around, snapping branches. Um, right. Uh, dagger, uh, thick throat. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to put it into that right now. Uh, do you need me to roll the hit? I'm guessing. Um, no. Or is that an automatic hit? hit? You're on it. Okay. Um, so that's a automatic four. Plus, that's a automatically critical mm -hmm. damage. Yes. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, Roll another D4 just to see if you um, miscarried. Uh, and that would be the. That is the 3. Okay. So you take 7 point of damage. Um, for his ability to fight, uh, his vermin. He's using a, a decent amount of blood, um, but the it made too much noise, and he it got the people right. So now they are they are looking for you. They're they're moving in your direction. So you have got maybe two rounds before they're on top of your current location, um, and. Um, so if if you plan to move, I need another stealth check uh, and a survival check to uh, hell yeah. Uh, do I still have dude, or is he? That's up to you. Um, he is bleeding, or is he just gonna bleed out is on me? Because if he bleeds out, then I am, unless there's a healer. Um, the, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's bleeding out, so if you leave him there, it will be easier for you to move. Um, if you take him with you, you're going to have to roll disadvantage for your stealth check. No, I am, well, did I see a, someone at least with a, uh, that has, a, that's like a cleric or in with this party, or no? Not that you can tell. Cool. Has the lightest bolts. So, the lightest bolts. Awesome. So, yeah. He might have been the healer. Well, in that case, I just fucked their entire uh, healing plan. That's a 26 on survival. And in my. Stealth is a. 24. <laughs> I am doing this like a goddamn pro right now. You said your stealth was what now? Uh, 24. Okay. So, uh, you managed to effectively hide. Um, and none of them were able to uh, relocate you. One got really close. Um, one looked like in your direction, but he, like, he, he glanced only at you. Um, uh, the others are, you know, are kind of searching but like they, they chose different angles to look in and uh uh you managed to avoid their detection which is cool um and i'm just gonna be doing this until i get a response from mojo so basically i'm just gonna do running not running hit but just say distract them keep them try to get this attract them 
contact Mojo, and if they find me, then I'll do combat today, if nece necessary, but I'll do the combat Friday with Mojo, if Mojo just comes along, if that makes sense. This is a I'm playing the I'm playing the long game by also getting uh Mojo here, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. He's probably the only character that I will talk to, if that makes mm -hmm. Okay. So um with that being the plan um, I will actually have to, uh, call it here for the evening. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, th this, I was, that's what I'm going to do. And then no, Friday, I'm going to do Cole mm -hmm. after. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th 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 that wasn't going to be my plan, but that's kind of. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what we're going with that. That's fine. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so um, this will do it so this will be our stopping point for this particular sideshow um, I have been your host Sultan Merak with us this evening the elusive twin he's being very elusive right now not typically like him <laughs> Uh, if you have enjoyed this particular sideshow, please consider dropping a like, hitting that subscribe button, pressing that bell notification so you can know about any time we do anything here on the channel. Um, we'll be back with more friends at a later date, and Friday will be episode 16 of Aspects and Envoys. So, um, till then, till next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Good night. Did I mess up?